serve. It's going to send Texas scrambling. And it gets Nebraska a free ball back. And you have to score on a free ball, but Merritt Beeson set up that whole play with the tough serve, and then look at Harper Murray get on that ball so fast. Texas calls a timeout. Nebraska with the momentum. Three straight points for the Huskers. It was on varsity in the eighth grade. She knows how to step up and play at the elite level. She told us when she was 13, she was playing up with the 18-year-olds. Can you believe that? Yes. <laughs> Watching her now, absolutely. <laughs> Misconnection, but hey, Maddie Skinner, crafty. Crafty, that sets a little bit too low. Maddie Skinner kind of had that runway going, but she didn't get the same elevation, but finishes with the same result, a little finesse shot over the block. I'd say on the Texas side, when it comes to Ella Swindle and her hitters, we've seen such an evolution. Because Ella Swindle's had to change her setting. She mostly sets on the ground, does not jump. That's actually helped her set behind better. Here's Winnis tipping around the triple block. Good point by you. I like that location by Jenna Winnis right over the block, but we'll talk about the setter location after that. Look at the triple block and Winnis. Little finesse shot over the block. Ellis Wendell has been managing a lower leg injury, so she's had to adjust her setting, and you'll see her mostly set from the ground, and her location has improved dramatically because she has to work to get her feet to the ball. Yeah, it's interesting. Most setters would prefer to jump set. It gives you a really nice rhythm when you get to the ball and power. But unfortunately, because of the injury that she's been nursing, they had to transition her back to staying on the floor so she does not jump set. She said it was a really hard transition to kind of rework where her location needed to be for these hitters, but they've actually benefited from it. On ace for Texas. That's six aces for the Longhorns. Every time Asia O'Neill extends those arms, all I can think is Russell Crowe, are you not entertained? <laughs> Step in the gladiator ring, baby. Timeout, Nebraska, as Texas comes out of the break. They're on a 4-0 run now. To step up, and they are going to serve away from Lexi Rodriguez all day long. Texas enough pace to be disruptive and you see Merritt Beeson getting her team together calming them down talking it through being that leader that this team has relied on through the entirety of this season Four! are you kidding me that's one proud dad Asia O'Neal came back Sixth year for a reason. She wanted that. She is stepping up. Look at that serve. Flat and clean. Lots of pace on it. Pays off with an ace. That ties her career high. Four aces. Big horse is able to get a swing off. Skinner, back row. 7-0 run for the Longhorns. And all the momentum is with Texas right now because they know they've got these passers on the ropes. Great job by Texas and Ellis Wendell recognizing I've got another option here. I'm going to just flip this ball behind, get Maddie Skinner in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And now we've got a substitution here on Nebraska's side. Yeah, Hayden Kubik is going to come in. She has played in nine sets on the season as Nebraska tries to show up some passing. Number 11 in white. And they'll serve right at her. Morgan Riley has to hustle all the way across the court. Cubic again. Beeson. Dug by Akana. And Cubic is blocked. Della Swindle and Bella Bergmark. Texas is 
relentless. They are going, who's ever in that position, putting all sorts of pressure. Ella Swindle right there with Bella Bergmark on the Texas block. Allie Batenhorst checks back in, back row to pass, and then she'll swing on the outside pin. John Cook just wanted to have a quick conversation with her on the sidelines. Yeah, so 14 and wide, Allie Batenhorst back in the match. Andy Jackson on the slide, no! I think Nebraska needs to attack out of the back row as an option, stress out Texas a little bit more. Look at Bella Birdmark late, but Jenna Wenis all over that ball defensively at the net. And Nebraska is gonna use its final timeout in this set because Texas is on a 9-0 run, including four straight aces. Nebraska, no more timeouts in this set. Texas on a 9-0 run with Asia O'Neill behind the service line. Look at Riley is going to try to dump. Texas was ready. Jenna Winnis coming in. Yes, dropped it in the back row. Texas knew what was coming on that last play. Akana just was stepped into the middle, knew that setter attack was coming because Bergen Riley was in the front row and they are stuck in this rotation. 10 0 run, four aces during this run, all in a row. This serve gets a free ball back to Texas. Skinner, back row, boom! This has been a dominant run from Texas. Ella Swindle knows she's got a third option in Maddie Skinner, and it is a great one coming right up the middle.